Oh, hey, didn't see you there. So, as you know, I'm like a huge Kamen Rider fan, and it's new Kamen Rider season. Um, I couldn't get the newest driver, I couldn't get any pre-orders in, which kind of suck. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm playing an old game. You know, maybe start a Let's Play or something. P people still like video games, right? Like, le Let's Plays are still big? Like, is this what you guys want to see? I'm playing, like, some cro Climax Scramble? You guys remember Climax Scramble for the Switch? It's all pretty good. This is this is what you guys want, right? What the hell? Congratulations. After careful consideration, you have been chosen. As of today, you are a common writer. Me? A common writer? Wait, isn't this your death game? Does that mean I can die? Well, I'm also probably not of this planet. Um, is this legal? Do I want to be part of this? It would be pretty cool, though. God, that, that belt looks so cool. Uh, do I want to do this? Do you want it or not? I have like 50 other people I have to take this to. Yes! Bye. Wait, while you're here, do you want to play some... And they're gone. Well. Looks like I've been through the Desire Grand Prix. Because we have the Desire Driver. And, uh, it's got the zombie buckle. So, you know what? Let's just get right into the box. And let's have some fun. All right, here's the box for the newest driver in town, which is the Desire Driver. So, yeah, we have our new Common Rider, Common Rider Geats, and Common Rider Buffa. This is the Desire Driver and Zombie Raise Buckle and Raise Buckle Holder set. That's the only name I could find, so surprisingly, unlike Revice, where I could find all these different bundles with all sorts of different names, this one only has the one. So, there's a lot to cover in this video, and overall, this is a pretty big box, but these are some good looking riders with a really interesting and cool design belt on the bottom it's just kind of your regular jargon of whatever moving on to the oh god moving on to the side you got some stuff what you can do with the belt different combinations on the back you got you can be Buffa, you can be Geats, you can use the hammer, you can use Boost, you can use that. Entry form. You can get the gun and put it on the holder. Which, that's pretty cool. I think that's actually really cool. Um, and you know, you can spin it. We will get to all of this in a little bit. But overall, really cool. Again, there's a better shot of Buffa. I, I just... I really dig that suit, and it looks like even the chainsaw sword should be able to hook onto one of these, which I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, we got hammer, we got boost, which boost looks pretty cool, man. I, I'm surprised we see that in the show as much as we do. Um, we got more stuff on this side, and on the top, um, we got a picture of the toy, and we got the picture of the contents. This is all that you get. But, if you were lucky, you got the promo item of the Revice Raise Buckle, but we will look at this with the other Raise Buckles. That is the promo item, if you got this as a first release, which I think that's a pretty good first release. Um, my box is a little banged up. Thanks, FedEx. Just, uh, I'm mad at FedEx for this whole situation. But, that's pretty much the box, and... Let's get the stuff out here and uh, check it out. We're going to start off with the belt straps because 
I'm a weirdo who wants to talk about the belt straps. All right, here are the Desire Drivers um, belt straps, which at least in my collection, I do not know if this is reused at all. I would have to look into it a little bit more. But this back piece is the same as the Jiku driver and uh, the Gamer driver. Same little back buckle piece, so that's pretty neat. Get those out of here. You know, you get the little clips so you can plug them into the belt. Pretty self-explanatory, but that's pretty much it. So, you know, just another repeat buckle, which I just find that really interesting, just to see how many times they reuse certain buckles. So, at least so far that I have found in my collection, I have three. There's three different versions of this one little back piece. So that's neat. So let's go move on to one of the big components: the raise buckles. Is it raise buckles or rise buckles? I don't know. All right, um, I brought in the buckles and the ID cores, which these really aren't anything. They're just kind of like hollow pieces of plastic. So these have no sounds. These are just different pieces of plastic. You got Buffa and Geats, which these look pretty good. Like, I honestly do like how these look. Obviously, since Buffa is a little more clear, you can see there's like no microchips or anything in it. You just plop this in the driver, which is really nice. Um, let's start off with the smaller raised buckles first. We got the promo item of the Revice driver raised buckle, which you can spin that so you can orientate it um, however you need it to go on to the desire driver. So you can make it go this way for, for the right side and uh, for the left side. Get right there. Perfect. Or depending on, I guess, how you're doing it, you know, because if you're wearing it this would be on your right side yeah and then your left so okay never mind i don't know what i'm doing but there are those yeah uh, yep i'm about to say i don't know what else to do with those and yeah you know you press it press that little tab down that's what that one does we got the hammer hammer raise buckle and uh yeah honestly what i think i really do like about these like buckles like like they just are kind of nice to fiddle with in the hand, you know, where it's like you can just like twist this around in your hand or just like, you know, keep this in your pocket or something. Like, I honestly like how small these are because they're not that big. Like, if I bring in a, a gear, like, like, yeah, they're they're small in comparison to these big buckles, but the smaller buckles, yeah, obviously thickness wise, but like, they're not that, that big, like comparing it to... The other things are like bringing in the, um, these are the buckle holders, which you can orientate these however you want, but they lock in. Press this little button. Do that. Do that. Which, it locks there, but doesn't lock here. So, that's, it's weird that like, it locks in certain places, but not all of them. So, it really only locks here and like here. Those are like the two locking points. So slide that in so it's that easy you get two of them you lucky dogs but yeah no so that's pretty much the hammer buckle which i guess i'm realizing i guess i can show off the numbering on the barcode this is 005 and revise is 23 now let's get into the big buckles let's start off with magnum which this is a chunk of a thing but overall, I think this looks pretty cool. Like, you know, you can just hold it as a gun and be like, I'm holding you hostage. You can twist, spin this, which is really nice. Obviously goes in this way. On the back, it obviously just has all the stuff so you can shove it in. There's the little thing that presses the button. And it is number 62. So this is the 62nd raised buckle. I'm guessing and I like the clear plastic they used but it is a fingerprint magnet as you can see <laughs> um, overall I like that it has the like almost like little little designs in the revolver part which I think that's really cool and if you hold this down you can just you can spin it which that's pretty cool you got a 
stuff on this grip, which obviously isn't a whole hand grip because that's as big as it is. But overall, this is a that's a cool buckle. Next up, let's talk about the boost buckle, which who it is nice and chromey indeed. Nice red chrome. And overall, I think this is really cool. It obviously has the little rivet, which obviously, like I said, not not that big, but still does its thing, so you can you can rev it up. And yeah, it just kind of opens up, like it just kind of pops up. And yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much. But I do like that it springs back, like like it it does spring back, which is nice. So it honestly does feel like you know when you're in like it doesn't feel like a real motorcycle, but it feels like um like when you're in one of those arcade bikes and you're just like meow, meow, you know, like it has kind of that, which that's fun. And you just can slide that back. Doesn't doesn't really matter, you know. Get have it this way. So there is that one. And last but certainly not least, we got the zombie buckle, which is number 63. You got this like like cracking design on, on this part. A nice metallic purplish pink, which that I like that coloring a lot. Which it's funny because I guess it's made out of the same clear plastic as this piece is is the rail. You got like this turning key and this like rib cage, and if you turn the key, you get this zombie hand with nice metallic orange, which you even get on this little crank, and you can turn this either way. And you know, you just fold that back up, and you, you're ready to go. And that's pretty much all the raised buckles on its own. And, and yeah, you know, you can even put these, uh, like it doesn't matter what kind of buckles you can so if you really want to like have like like this one like be like a sword or something like you can just be like and, you know do that samurai style but let's get the actual desire driver in here and see what sounds we can make and here's the base desire driver on its own with no raise buckles and this is a very interestingly looked driver. So, yeah, you got this on the back. This is where you put your batteries in. You hit this little tabby do right here. You twist it to it so you can get the little tabs out. It pops out. You can put your batteries in. That's what that does. This is where you put your belt straps. Love the texturing and everything on that. You got these buttons on the side so you can release whatever raised buckles you have. You got the centerpiece so you can put your ID cores. You got this little ring, which honestly I do like that it looks so basic and almost bare because when you get the bigger buckles onto this, it kind of completes the look of the driver, which that's why they're so big. And it really makes it cool to customize it yourself. So, so yeah, if you press this button up here, that's when you can activate the almost Jiku driver-like... Um, like spinning which it's pretty good so like i don't think it becomes as loose as the jiku driver did but it's pretty good and when you get it in the box it has this orientated on the top but i prefer to make the one without the switch my top the top of my driver because it's this it yeah it has the same look both up and down so it doesn't really matter so do what you want. Time to turn it on. So, in this, if you spin it, it says its name, and if you spin it, it just does a little trumpet. But let's see what happens if you don't have an ID core in and you use a, a buckle. Ooh, that's a bright LED. Yeah. Lower one of my lights a little bit. Maybe help it. There we go. Maybe. So, so you just pretty much get that hammer sound, but you really don't get nothing else. 
Still doesn't make any sound. Still just gives you that trumpet. There's that. And it's weird because they all almost have unique sounds. So, like, it makes that. So, it just don't work if you don't got an ID core in there. And there is no difference, like I said. So, if you just put this one in... But if I put this one in, it's the same sound. It's just, do you want Buffa in the center or do you want Geats in the center? Which I do appreciate that. That means no sounds are really locked to any certain ID core, at least yet. Um, so we'll have to see in the future. But let's start off with using the Geats core. And let's start off with the littler buckles. Let's start off with... Sorry if it's a little bright. There's that. And if you press it. Get revolve on. And if we take this out, we can bring hammer in. This. Got a hammer strike, but you can use them together. Sorry if this is a little bright. Um, that's just how my camera is picking it up. It is picking these up really bright. So, uh, sorry. I'm try I'm not trying to blind you, but this belt just has really good LEDs, I guess. But you can... And it really doesn't matter which one you use. It just... It just will just change the sound of, like, the initial. So if you hit this one, it does the hammer. Boom! Like... And this one does, like, the common Rider sound. But... Those are these two buckles, and I guess I showed you how the dual on kind of works. And honestly, I think these are really kind of cool, even though this one doesn't give you a ton of sounds. Like, they're definitely leaving some of, like, the jingles and cooler stuff to the bigger buckles. But I appreciate that this gives you the Common Order Revice, like, standard transformation if you use the Rex Vice stamp in it. I think that's just kind of really cool. But let's bring in one of the big buckles in 
here in Magnum. So let's So I really think it's really cool that like you can get these LED effects onto that side of the driver and overall I think it's just kind of cool that you just kind of have this handle on there. God, the LED effect and and like even the sounds like like I like the do 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 like I think that's really cool. Obviously again, put that to release. And that's that buckle. Well, I'll show off the combinations in a little bit, but let's show off the boost one before we do. Let's show off the boost, the boost raise buckle. I like how it has that speedometer effect right there. You'll see it more in a second. You can rev it twice. I really do dig that speedometer look. I really do. I think it looks really cool. But, like, if you rev it once. Rev it twice. You get the boost time. Ooh, you get a grand strike, and you can see that other effect come out, but that's really cool. The LED works on this belt is fucking phenomenal. So, let's do a revolve. And let's do the proper combo of, of a boost magnum. So, let's slide magnum in here. That's such a cool effect. I like that a lot. Yeah, let's close this up for more effect. Oh, that looks so cool. That was awesome. I love that effect. I like how it's like, it's like, it's telling you, it's like, get ready for this. Um, I, I dig those sounds a lot. I think that's really kind of cool. And, and yeah, that's, that's a, that was just a really cool jingle. This one. And there is that. And that's pretty much all you can get for this form, but we can obviously revolve. And here's something I think that is really interesting. You can only get grand victories with the boost buckle. It's not specific to this combo, which if you have the right set of combos, it seems if you have the right like matching raise buckles, it gives you, you know, its own special little jingle, like the get ready for boosted magnum. I'm really curious on what's gonna be for zombie. But the grand victory is strictly tied right now out of all the ones I own and all the ones that I know are out. This is the only buckle that can give you a grand victory. Like, for example, if I were to use this revise buckle.
See? They're, like, so yeah, you can get grand victories as long as you are doing... Well, I guess the grand whatever is with boost. So if we use hammer... There is its grand victory with hammer. Let's, uh, before we get to the zombie buckle, let's put buffas in. Honestly, for me, I think I'm going to keep buffa in over geats. Not that I don't like geats. I think this looks really cool, but the purple is more up my alley. I like how this looks a lot as the center gem. So let's bring in his buckle. Ooh. Got the zombie strike. Like I said, nothing if you do it twice. Now let's bring in the magnum, magnum raise buckle. And there's something I found very interesting while switching around with buckles. As you heard with this, much like both of these buckles, it still stuck to saying just zombie, then do and then it goes immediately into the Magnum jingle. What I think is real interesting about the boost buckle, it will always say and boost after like as soon as this says zombie, it's gonna say and boost. But on its own, or with the smaller buckles, it says just boost. So it's something that this is programmed to do. So I think that's really interesting. Yeah, so, I don't know, again, I don't know if it's exactly the reasoning why, and maybe when we get an eventual pairing, if we get an eventual pairing, something with the zombie buckle, like, is the zombie going to have its own boost, which I'm imagining it is going to be, but we don't know what it is yet. So... And that is that. 
And that's pretty much all the buckles we have so far. And like I said, I think it's really cool. Let me shut it off real quick so I don't have to, so you don't have to hear these sounds again. And that's pretty much all the buckles so far, which I guess I could show off a couple other combinations. But before I do, I want to just mention, like, I just, I think it looks so good that you can just have this get, like, completed. Like, like I said, when these buckles aren't on there, it was like, it was almost incomplete. But, like, having two, two of the big buckles on there, it feels complete it looks cool and i like that you can customize it and have it however you really want so you can have stuff like zombies so it's like it really allows you to make this belt like how you want it and how you really want to like have it look and i really think that's really cool where it's like it really does give you some nice i don't know why if you don't have if you don't do oh there it goes for whatever reason if you do not click this one in first on mine if you don't click this one in first before this one this one doesn't want to latch i don't know why it just does that so there is that but yeah no i like the completeness of how it looks and everything but if you turn it on and just do this don't do nothing so Let's try it with the revise. Like I said earlier, I think it's really cool that the big buckles really do get their own jingles and everything. And I like that you don't need to have the complete con combo to get it. I think that's really cool. And, you know, the smaller ones just kind of have their sound, but they're not supposed to be... These are just basically little weapons. These are supposed to be good pieces of armor. Like, these are the common items. These are the nice, rare, premium items you want to get when you're playing the game. So... I get the difference. I get the diff like differentiation of them, and I think it's honestly really cool. But to get the bear driver itself back out, uh, let's bring in some comparisons. Now that I have all these buckles everywhere, we have the Revice driver, and yeah, they're about, um, they're about the same amount of length, I think. I want to say the Desire driver is a little bit longer. No, I think the Revice driver might be a little bit longer if you st hit them back to back, but, you know, very two different aesthetics, and I still love the Revice driver. I think... Like, obviously, they don't look good together. Like, like they look fine together. Like, if you put these two on the shelf, I'm like, I guess. Like, even if you were to, like, load this out with buckles. Like, these are obviously two different aesthetics. But, honestly, it's a pretty solid little thing. Next up, let's uh, bring in the Dawn Blaster. Which, it is uh, about the same size if you don't count the handle. So, there's the... Here's the Dom Blaster. And one last example, the D Flasher. Which it's... Eh, eh, 
about the maybe the same size i i guess depending on how you want to look at it this one actually might be bigger but it's obviously wider but you know there it is honestly if you wanted it to be longer i guess it could be so there's that and that's pretty much it for the desire driver in like the toy wise so overall let's go see how this is gonna look on me so let's see how this looks on a person cut to me and here it is another driver obviously i can't wear this naturally i have belt extenders they're back there they're black so honestly i think it looks pretty good on a person like it's pretty easy to access that easy and overall i think this is a really cool belt so oh no no how, how would you guys feel if i legitimately like disappeared like in the show i put it in and i'm like yeah now that is content so overall i think this is a really cool belt i think honestly when you get some more buckles on here And honestly, this really does complete the look of the belt, you know, and that's just one of the coolest parts. Like, that was honestly one of my favorite parts of the Jiku driver was the being able to turn it and stuff. And just being able to do that here is super cool. And the customizability, the uniqueness, like, you can use any of the ID cores you really want. I'm personally going to probably stick with using the Buffa one. I like purple. So... It's all really your choice, but it doesn't matter which ID core you use, which in one point kind of sucks because that means they're just kind of pieces of plastic you can't do anything with. But on the other hand, it's almost like the center gem, the center piece of the belt. So like what color do you want shining as that light is coming out? And then you can really put any kind of buckles you want. You don't even have to just use boost. You can just slide that back on, put it back on your little clip. Grab Magnum. Like, let it finish. Like, And overall, I think that's one thing I think is really cool about this belt. It really lets you display it like how you want to. It, it honestly, for a kid, could be really cool. Me as an adult, I think it's really cool because it allows me to have fun and, you know, play with the toys instead of just being like, not nothing wrong against the vice stamps or any other gimmick, but like, this feels like such something on its own and that you can experience and do everything your way, play it display it your way and it's like yeah we're gonna get other jingles when we get combos and everything but ultimately if you're like eh, i like to have like just like boost and magnum you can do that but if you want zombie and magnum you can do that and i think this is a really good belt like like i usually wait and see reviews of this belt like but seeing pictures and the functionality of this toy just made me be like i need to see how that functions and I think it turned out really cool. Especially since these Legend Rider buckles give you just the transformation jingles for Revice, Zero One. We have a Kabuto one announced. Like, there's going to be so many cool buckles and customizability options. And I can't wait for that because it's going to be awesome. And, like, you can even have, like, the gun holstered onto one of these. I guess I'm going to have to show that off when I get that. But I overall really do like this belt. Are, what do you guys think of this belt? Like, what do you, 
Did you guys pick up the Desire Driver? Are you guys watching this review to see if it's going to tilt you over or if you're going to be like, eh, I don't need that? I think it's a really cool belt. It's honestly one of my favorite belts in years. It's probably up there as one of the ones I own, but I would have to look through all of them objectively because I don't keep anything I hate, you know? It's like if I'm like, this driver's trash and I don't want it in my house, I'm not going to keep it around. But this feels so nice and premium. It just has so many fun factors. You know, you could just do... just. I win my victory and overall like if this video is so long because not only does this box just have so much to talk about there's just so much I like about it and I want to mention but what are you guys thinking of Geats so far what do you guys think of the desire driver do you know which writer's ID core you're gonna really display yours with are you guys gonna stick with Geats are you gonna stick with Buffa and overall like I could, I could probably keep on talking about this this belt, but it's there's nothing really left to say outside of I think it's cool, and if you want to buy it, I highly recommend it. Like, if this is on, if you're on the fence, I'm gonna I'm about to say I'm, I'm hopefully I helped you out with that. But thank you so much for watching, and Adam, why is there another person in our house? I gotta go. I gotta go figure that out. See you guys later. Bye.